So about two weeks ago, I told you all that I wanted to cut down on my hair videos and kind of expand my YouTube channel a little bit. Yet here I am again, ready to film a new hair video. <laughs> Look, the thing is, I tried to cut my own mullet, which did not go as planned. <laughs> because I couldn't find any useful mullet hair tutorials on the interwebs that I could follow. So it turned out to be a complete shit show. I then went to the hairdresser to actually fix my hair and make it look presentable again. But then yesterday, I saw an actual good in-depth tutorial on how to cut your own mullet. And you know, how can I ignore a sign like that? It was like the universe was telling me that I had to try it again. So that is exactly what I'm going to do today. So the video that I saw is made by Rachel and she goes as goth underscore egg on Instagram. <laughs> and my hair, it, it, it is kind of a mullet, but it definitely looks way different than hers because she has like a lot of shorter layers on top and that is kind of more the look that i want to go for now because i feel like yeah i did get a mullet but it doesn't it's not extreme enough for me you know so i am going to follow her tutorial and see if i can get the same intensity as she has on her hair and hopefully i'm actually gonna like it but to be honest it doesn't really matter that much whether i like it or not because i'm actually planning on shaving my head again so uh yeah let's just continue hi i'm rachel i'm gonna show you how i cut my mullet at home um this is how it looks now it's got a bit shaggy on top so first i spray it with water so it's damp and then i trim the length by splitting it in half at the back and combing it forward and just kind of trimming it at the bottom like that okay so let's spritz my hair with some water that was very cold on my legs but refreshing as well Let's hope I won't wash off my eyebrows. <laughs> um, she cut some hair off the bottom as well. But to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna do that because I feel like it's already pretty short. So let's just skip that part and go on to the next part. Now onto the top, I separate a section sort of from my ears all the way around um, the top. And then I where my head rounds on the sides, I separate that off separately as like the sides and I clip those out the way. Okay, so now uh, let's section off my hair. And this is probably like the most important part, so I gotta make sure that I'm doing it right. I feel like I have a lot more hair than she has. So I hope it's still gonna look good. Okay, let's section off the sides. Perfect. Now this is the fun bit. Um, I start in the middle of the top and separate out like a section going along the top of your head. And then I cut that, uh, cut like an inch off and I try and keep my hair straight up from my head and I try and keep my fingers pointing straight forward and I keep going along. <laughs> Look how long my hair is. At that part right now and she literally cuts it till here oh god oh god okay and then i basically go on like that all the way around the head so i take the next section with half of the previous section and i use that as my guideline to cut and you can see where i've cut using that as a guideline i showed you there cutting those bit off and then i literally just keep going like that all along the top okay i got a smaller section because to be honest i got scared so let's start cutting now <laughs> oh there's so much hair on my head i need to cut so much hair off look how long it is beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> ah, wait how did she do that hold it like this hold it like that Wait, I already forgot. <laughs> so she holds it like this. Following. 
my arm is already hurting. Okay, here we go. One, a two, a one, two, three, go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Toot toot. See you later. <laughs> I clip my hair back because I feel like that she's gonna make it a little bit easier for me. Straight with your head and then cut it off. Okay, next section. I do feel like this is gonna make it look more like an actual mullet, but I'm not sure if I'm also gonna like it or not. But yeah. So much hair. Also, cutting your hair while it's wet is <laughs> like so much better than cutting it when it's dry. Like this just feels a lot easier. I don't know why I always cut my hair while being dry. That's kind of a weird thing to do, but okay. Chip chop, chip chop. Bye bye. Damn boy. Not gonna lie, I feel like it is going a lot better now than it has been going in all my other hair cutting videos. <laughs> like I feel like this is the first time I actually know what I'm doing. My arm feels terrible though, like, oh my god. Ah! Cramps! <laughs> I cramped my arm. <laughs> oh, it feels terrible! <laughs> Ew, there's so much hair on my legs. Ugh. Gross, gross, gross. By the way, very unrelated. But look, I got a new tattoo. <laughs> His name is Hank and I love him. This part is done. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about it yet. But let's see how she does the sides. Taking a section of like a centimeter of hair, pulling it straight out to the side and just cutting off each bit with the um, previous section. So I've cut off the same amount of each one and I'm just cutting them kind of like straight square from my head um, just to give them like layers and then I'm trimming it around my ear. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there's more that I can cut off because it's already very short. looks really good what look if i have my hair like this yeah it's kind of crazy it is kind of crazy but if i have it like this whoa this actually looks so much more like a mullet than what i had before damn son damn but the video is not done yet, so let me see what else she's gonna do to her hair and what else I am going to do to my hair. <laughs> so now we move on to the layers. I'm just pulling them up at the back so you can see they're a lot longer than the top section that we've already cut. I don't quite join them up, I leave them a bit disconnected because I like to have the top and the sides sort of behind the ears be like poofy and big and I find it gives me like volume and kind of more of like an 80s look to my hair. So I'm just pulling my layers like up to the top and then cutting about an inch off. It's not really like a proper layers technique, but I just like to do it because it's easy to do on yourself at home because you can't obviously cut the back yourself, it's a lot harder. So mm -hmm. I just pull everything up to the top and as the layers get longer, 
like we over direct them a bit forward so they kind of get longer again if that makes sense okay so i feel like those layers shouldn't be too hard to do but honestly you never know with me whatever bye hair was fun meeting you but you can go now this I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I just made myself some amazing layers or if I just ruined the back of my head because honestly, I did not see anything that I was doing. <laughs> but let me show you the back. <laughs> Does it look good? <laughs> Please tell me it looks good. <laughs> Let's see what else she has to tell because it is not done yet. So then I go through and I basically chip into everything I've already cut. There was quite a lot of footage of this, but I cut it because it made it super long and it was pretty boring and it's all pretty similar. So you just pull everything up. It really needs to be dry when you're doing this and you just cut into it. So you can see that everything is like a solid line and we want to just break up that line. So it looks a lot more sort of worn in and like natural, but textured at the same time. Okay, so we just gotta make some like cuts in there to make it less blunt. Um, however, I do feel like I didn't do the best job at cutting my own hair So the lines aren't really straight to begin with Which to be honest is going to make this a lot easier for me <laughs> So yeah, Let's uh, do a little chop 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 so then I'm going through and adding my final touches to the fringe and the front section I kind of go through and pinch little pointy spikes which I like to emphasize and define with the scissors so the texturizing that we've done already and the layers kind of create like a wispy not super straight blunt fringe but I like to go in and emphasize that um, I just don't really like a blunt front fringe on me and I find that this grows out nicer and I just like prefer the way it looks look who came to show his face finally hey Peppa. Baby, do you need some attention, my dude? Why are you licking my armpits? Why are you so gross? Let's try and keep Pablo in frame because he is a very cute. And yeah, don't worry. He is allowed to eat that plant. He likes that plant. Anyways, so what she then did, the final touch, was to kind of like create some spikies in her hair. Which I think looked super cute. So let's try and do that as well. Okay, so that did not work at all. Let me just check out the back of my head, okay? Because like I said, I haven't seen it yet. So maybe it is horrible. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not the best either. Let me, I think I'm just gonna add one extra layer to it. Because I feel like the bottom is still pretty much the same length. So let me just create one extra layer and then it is finished. So let me just get rid of some of the frizz and style my hair. And I'm going to show you the actual end result, which I'm very excited about. I think at least. This is the end result of my hair. Jimmy, yeah, look at me and my mullet beach. I'm actually very proud of what I've accomplished today because compared to the last time I tried to get myself a mullet, this is about 500,000 times better. Yay! And this actually does look like a mullet, which was what I was going for. So that's always a great thing. This looks pretty damn cool if you ask me like oh she oh she however i still am going to shave it all off very soon though but for now it is fun and i like this hairstyle pablo what do you think this was today's video 
Mwah! I hope you all liked it. Um, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Rachel, aka Goth Egg, <laughs> for providing the internet with this amazing hair tutorial. Honestly, I couldn't have done this without her. So, big shout out to her. I will leave her Instagram in the description box down below. And, uh, ugh. Hair in my mouth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube. If you do not follow me here yet. And watch Pablo clean himself. That's so cute. I love him so much. He is literally my entire world. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.